Hey guys, welcome to this video. In today's video, we will be discussing Battlefield 4 and the reveal later today. I believe it's 7 p.m. Uh, PST or maybe EST, not too sure. I come from the UK, so I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely on the 26th of the 3rd, 2013. And if you're wondering if I'm from the UK, why am I using the US date? And that's simply because um, I believe more people will look at that and be like, oh, yeah, okay, rather than obviously muting a UK date. So, um, yeah. In fact, give me a minute and I will change that. And there we are. I know that the UK date isn't just in the UK and that it's in other um, places in Europe, but, you know, I can't bother to change that now. So, there's the uh, UK and US date. <coughs> Sorry, you were there. So, in the reveal today, I believe they're going to be showing you know, parts of the single player, little bits, a few seconds um, for from like different um, missions and stuff and um, they won't be showing the multiplayer until later on this year I'm pretty sure, maybe they'll probably show it um, <sighs> Borders E3 in June so they'll be showing more stuff there, obviously this is only a reveal trailer, so expect more in the following months obviously, to follow the release of this it will be on all major consoles I even believe that they include the Wii U, obviously the PS4, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox 720 or the next gen Xbox, whatever you want to call it, and then of course PC. <clears throat> I reckon it would be much better than Battlefield 3, um, I mean Battlefield 3 was a great game, obviously, however I believe it will have better servers and they'll probably be doing the renting servers again because that was a pretty good feature and I think people enjoyed that quite a lot and it worked. That's the most important thing, it worked. So why change it or why take it away if it worked? I mean, um, I know a few people that used to use that um, rent a server quite a lot and it was great. It was a lot of fun, you could set the rules, you know, and yeah, it was an extremely fun experience when playing with your friends you can like you know ban people that aren't following to your like that aren't following the rules to your liking and that are actually ruining the game and experience for everyone else on the server so i believe it be have rent a server um bigger maps as well because i rem i think it was end game is the last dlc for battlefield 3 i don't know i don't play the game anymore however um i do follow some news so um i believe it was end game and i've believe that had massive maps compared to previous DLC packs so I believe that's a taster of what's to come in Battlefield 4. I reckon the maps are going to be much more bigger than Battlefield 3's and you know um, that'll eliminate obviously a lot of different things such as like spawn trapping hopefully there'll be different spawns for different teams obviously well there will be anyway obviously there is in Battlefield 3 but I mean instead of just two set spawn points so they can spawn trap you easily I hope there's different ways like different areas to spawn in so if you are spawn trapped in say sp spawn point A and the enemy are in spawn point B you can spawn in spawn point D and C or C D um, that's what I hope anyway um, I want there to be more of an emphasis on team based strategy on the multiplayer and obviously the single player is just as good as it gets and the single player was brilliant in Battlefield 3 and I hope they stick to that same kind of uh, recipe for the single player in Battlefield Four. So remember the reveal today, 7 p.m. EST or PST. I can't quite remember. Let me just quickly tell you now. Okay, so I was completely wrong. I believe it's actually PDT. So apologies for that. So 7 p.m. PDT. Um, I don't know if that's right. UTC. Either way, PDT or UTC is one of them. <laughs> so um, San Francisco is being showed in anyway. So uh, California. So, uh, yeah, well, that's all I really want to say, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video, and peace out.